here is um their closet that's literally how so that's like my six-year-old's clothes and then my three-year-old's clothes and then their shoes are like at the bottom okay so guys um, this uh can, what is this thing i don't know i forgot what they're called but this thing i got it from amazon and i will leave it in the link if you guys want and one side is going to be for my oldest son and then the other side is going to be for my second oldest son so i also got i also got these i got two of them from amazon and i'm thinking about putting one on each side and then this in the middle so um the first thing we're gonna do is uh take the clothes out and then afterwards i'll um kind of show you guys my kids um bed set so far that i've got Let's go down to build this. This hanging rod from Amazon, I love it, guys. And I will leave the links for everything that I have used in the description for you guys. And I did get two sets of them just so I can put it on both sides of the closet. And it's pretty straightforward. You have to screw um, two of the rods together. And then after that, you have to add like the little hook part at the end and i mean it's easy it tells you in the direction pictures is three steps to set this up and i love it because you can extend the length of it if you don't you know like if you have a lot of clothes you can extend it if you have a little bit of clothes you know you can um put it to the shortest um level that it has but uh, i'm going to fast forward this part for you guys and then i'll be back to show you guys how it looks once it's all up there one two three come on ahead and build the other one just to see where um i want to put everything so that's how the closet is looking i'm liking this um now uh, we can actually start putting the clothes on this side. These are my younger brother, my younger brother, guys. <laughs> my younger son, well, my second oldest. And then I'm thinking, obviously, I might have to put it down. I just wanted to see how, um, like, long his clothes were. So I'm just going to kind of see what happens what i do i'll probably fast forward this part for you guys i'm thinking probably um jackets at the bottom actually jackets and long sleeves at the top since he rarely wears those it's more so i think i'm gonna put that on the floor so i'm gonna go ahead and do his side and then i'll have to show you guys how it looks <laughs> like what you guys see how much space we're working with look 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 and there's still a ton of space at the bottom which i'm thinking about um putting baskets there and then putting like their flip-flops and like crocs in there and then on here it'll only be like their sneakers i'm gonna go through his clean clothes um hang all of his clothes and then i'll after that i'll do my son's my oldest son side and then I'll bring you guys so you guys can see. 
this is how it looks guys look 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 how cute and i have enough space six-year-old's clothes is on this side and then this one row is his of shoes this is my nine-year-old's side and this side is his sneakers and then at the bottom i'm gonna get i'm gonna use, reuse these bins so then i can put um like there's sandals and crocs in one of them so then each kid will have two of these and then up there um i'll probably just leave it like that i'll probably just reuse these two so because up there they kind of have their like blankets and stuff so i'm gonna keep the top how it is i'm gonna just change the basket out so let me go look for their shoes and then um i'm gonna put these at the bottom for you guys so you guys can see what i'm doing Like my six-year-old's Crocs would go here with his slippers. And then here, I am still debating what I want to put there. I might use um, these three to put their toys and stuff. I don't get my kids that. They used to have a lot of toys. But then um, either they kept breaking it or they kept losing it. And then we stopped buying them. So they only get um, toys when people give it to them for like, Christmas or like their birthdays but if not we don't really buy them toys like that and then on this side on the last one is going to be my oldest son's croc socks and then here I mean crocs and slippers so then up there I am going to keep that how it is because like I said this one it just holds my kids like um blankets and I think one of them has like a basketball in it yeah and then this last one right here is their like memory book like their baby book i guess like baby um box there you go um so that i'll probably just leave it like that i have to go get my other sons and stack it up what i might do is give each kid a basket up there so then they can put like their extra blankets for their beddings and stuff like that so, because Adam, that's what I've been doing for Adams. So, huh, so much. So, let me get my other three boxes. I use again these, and I'm re just reusing it because we had them. And I'm going to put, these are Adam's old, like, bedding he had on cars so i'm gonna put this away so this is the after look at all that space let me move this broken down chair i was using it to get up so i put four dollar tree baskets up there and then those are my kids memory books or memory boxes or whatever and then that's how it looks i have not wasted no space no holes drilled or anything i can just hook them and as my son gets older, I can lower that so then the clothes don't touch. And same for here. I have about four more um, like levels I can lower it down to. So, And then at the bottom, five Dollar Tree baskets fit perfectly. And um, yeah, so that's kind of empty right now. Like I said, it'll probably go there toys in the middle, in the middle three. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I have to get them shoes because they don't have that much shoes. And then obviously you guys saw like Adam's shoes on the wall. That one I got it from Walmart. So everything will be in the link in the description below. Okay. So my oldest son, which is Kaden, um, he likes Fortnite, so we got him a Fortnite bedding and then the um, like like little fitted sheets and all of that I also got the mattress protectors I don't know if you guys can see the mattress protectors for all of the kids the only one that I'm missing is Adams because his stuff won't arrive until Friday and then I got um, three pillow protectors I have no idea where's the other one but there's three of them. 
So then for Daniel, he likes Mario, so we got Mario bed. And we also got the mattress um, protectors and then, you know, like the fitted sheets and all of that. And I got him a pillow, just one because his bed is a twin. So I just got him one pillow and a pillow protector also. So Adam's is a blippy bed set. And for him, I got the crib, um, like the mattress pad covers. And even though we have like, I think one extra, another one, but that one is for Evelyn that we have in her crib. So that's what's going on, guys. So I went ahead, I forgot to mention, well, to show you guys, but I went ahead and put these little um, tags on them just so... I don't forget what is in it. And then, so that one is Daniel's towels. And then this one is his blankets and bedding stuff, like his um, pillowcases and fitted sheets and all of that. And then that's Caden's towels and his blankets and bedding. And then I did the same thing also to the bottom. So that one has Caden's Crocs and sandals. And then these three are toys, and that one is Daniel's Crocs and Sandals. That is a lot, but I love this closet. It's so freaking pretty. But, um, yeah, guys. So, I'm going to try to pick up a little, do some laundry, put some of their clothes away, look for shoes. That's I have no idea where their shoes are, but I have to go look for them around the house. And, yeah. So, I'll see you guys another day. See you guys tomorrow or another day whenever I have an update for you guys.